1.36 cubic kilometers, with 20 river tributaries which drain out to the 20 kilometer river Kalinawan. Recognizing the need to provide clean, reliable, and sustainable energy to traditionally underserved communities, the Aguzen Power Corporation, a strategic partnership between the Japanese global energy company, J Power, and Philippine developer, Markham Resources Corporation, have launched the Lake Mainit Hydroelectric Power Plant Project. The project aims to deliver a resilient, renewable energy system that supports the Philippines' robust economic and social development. With a total capacity of 24.9 megawatts, the Lake Mainit Hydro Power Plant is set to transform the energy landscape within the region, providing approximately 97,565 megawatt hours of clean, affordable energy to local communities each year. The project will service the steadily increasing residential and commercial energy requirements in the area. At the heart of the project is the state-of-the-art infrastructure that has been meticulously designed and painstakingly constructed. The impoundment, situated across the lake, forms a reservoir which stores water for power generation. The stored water is then directed through a series of turbines, which convert the kinetic energy into mechanical energy. The project utilizes three Francis turbines supplied by one of the foremost electrical and mechanical suppliers for hydropower in the world. These are employed to maximize the energy conversion efficiency of the plant. The Uh, municipality of Abonga Mayor Napoleon Montero, the Agusan Power Company President uh, Francisco Joe Laurel Jr., DSP Group of Companies President Dexter Tang. The Lake Minot Hydro Power Project in Agusan del Norte inaugurated. The 24.9 megawatt MW Lake Minot Hydro Power Project in Jabanga, Aguzan del Norte, was officially opened on Wednesday, July 12, 2023, by President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. In his remarks, Marcos praised the facility's launch, particularly as the country's electricity consumption continues to rise. Initiatives and projects like this are very appreciated since they assist the country enhance its energy supply and improve our energy mix by prioritizing the usage of renewables, he said. The building of this hydropower plant is a decisive step toward our goal of securing much-needed power for the people of Aguzan del Norte and nearby areas by utilizing its water resources, he continued. According to Marcos, the project has various advantages, including the creation of socio-economic prospects not just for the people of Aguzan del Norte but also for the whole of Mindanao. The hydropower facility is expected to revolutionize the region's energy environment by supplying 100,871 megawatt-hours of clean, inexpensive energy to local populations each year. It is anticipated to service approximately 45,000 families indefinitely. In addition, the project is intended to help reduce carbon footprint and enhance air quality because hydroelectric power produces very low or zero carbon emissions during energy generation, stated the president. Marcos urged the private sector to join forces with the government to expand similar efforts to offer the country with inexpensive, reliable, and clean energy. He reaffirmed his administration's commitment to improving administrative processes in the energy industry in order to attract investors. The project was created through a collaboration between Markham Resources Corporation and the J Power Group. I absolutely look forward to more cooperation and better bilateral connections between the Philippines and Japan, 
particularly in renewable energy. I remain optimistic that we will come up with more initiatives that will use renewable resources and help to our continuous efforts to solve our energy concerns, Marcos remarked. I urge the Aguzan del Norte local government to offer all necessary assistance to ensure the efficiency, safety, and productivity of this vital hydropower project, he added.